YouTube! Hi! We're gonna have a nice chill house flipper session today. Um, just relax. Some nice calming music in the background. And we're gonna get straight into it. Now the last time I was on house flipper we did have, um, we'll call them technical difficulties. And now OBS did decide that um, it was gonna reset all my settings. And that's why we ended up with no sound for the whole of the recording. But because I carried out some jobs and things, I figured that we'd upload it anyway. Um, and just go from there. I've already got my coffee ready. Mm -hmm. And we're going to get straight into it. My idea for today is to buy another one of the small properties. And I think we'll go with the abandoned house today. Um, flip this so that we can get some more cash in the pocket and then we're going to look at buying the yacht from there and doing a flip on that one. So we're going to go and have a look at this house. Yeah, thank you so far to everybody who has been, you know, watching um, the recording so far and that. Uh, I've been doing them mainly because one, I love this game and no, I just, it's nice to kind of, you know, just chill and play it and just kind of hang out with you guys. If you have got any suggestions, um, anything that you would like me to see me do in there, whether it's a particular flip on a building or... You know, you, ha you have some ideas for colour schemes, you know? then let me know and we'll incorporate that. But in the meantime, I'm going to get to cleaning up these weeds. Because there seem to be a lot of them here. <laughs> and uh, we'll see if we can do a little bit more with this garden. And that make it look all beautiful, ready to sell to its new owner. I don't think we've got anyone in particular in mind for this particular house, but... We'll see what happens. Let's see if we can um, get another achievement. Oh. To really look at the mini map, show me where the weeds are instead of me just blindly picking up weeds in the garden. Yeah, what have you been all been up to? What have you been doing? How is your time going? I haven't uploaded for about a week or so, so this week. Okay, obviously, the first video that I'm going to do here. And then let's get back on track with uploading. So, yeah. <laughs> See what I'm gonna make mini map weed coming for you. Skill point as well. Nice. So it is. Ah, this finishes off with the axe, so that's everything for Garden Unlocked. Music's kind of ominous. Get rid of these big bushes up front. It's nice plant in the right wood.
do is give our friend the lump. We've actually got another skill. Skill. So we've done that as well. The lawnmower out. See, there are bits and pieces that we're missing, but we'll get those extra bits of fence. Switch cutter, please. Um, got on quite a bit of land on it. Fill those bits. Did not mean to do that. use of that mini map keep track of um, where we've done where we haven't done where we've missed a little bit I love how they can go backwards with this lawnmower. Really something... Well, I don't know. I don't mow a lot of lawns, but as far as I'm aware, I usually cook better when going forward with the way the blades are arranged. Now, I have heard that the developers are looking at improving the way the lawnmower works better like even more so they are currently looking at doing some improvements to the garden dlc so it'll be interesting to see what they come up with quite relaxing and it's nice to see how much of an improvement it makes just by you know tidying up the grass outside
I bet that you can just mow through trees. A little tuft over here. Let's get it. Get it! a little bit with the brush cutter around the edge of the building shortly. Let's get the rest of it done first. Not quite Christmas yet, but we'll take it. Christmas song. Oh, well, it's Christmas again. Best if I spend it alone. Oh, well, oh, well, I have no one to blame. It's nobody's fault but my own. And from what I can tell, all the tales are the same You don't know what you've got till it's gone Everything crumbled and withered away I failed, what more can I say? Oh well, oh well, it's Christmas Get up there. Bring them bells for woman and child, and maybe for a lost man like me. Ring again, ring for them who have nothing but time. A sad one with no place to be. Ring for the loser. There we go. Much cleaner. The question is, what kind of panelling are we going to do on the outside this time? I don't, want to, I don't know if I want to go wood siding or whether I want to go brick. I do very much like brick. I think we went with the darker one last time. We will go with the nice bright one. usual we'll just pop some rounds we probably won't end up using them all but let's 
to have too many and fill the excess than it is to have. stand on something. Let's <laughs> try it. I think they've just given the game away that there's um, a cockroach nested, so... <laughs> but no, let's do the outside first. Before we get to... All the creepy crawlies that are hiding inside. a little bit weird but as we go through we will sort it back up like 
Hmm. Yeah, that is a fun break. Get rid of these doors. That is a fair few bits and pieces to sell in as well. And get rid of all the little bits and pieces that we can sell at the moment because as usual we will start from scratch Like there's a lot of little rooms in here but I'm thinking if we actually took out the kitchen we could probably open up the space a little get rid of these guys It's also enabled us to see where the rest of the outlets are that we can get rid of for now. Floaty bricks. Oh, I floaty bricks. And that at least opens up this section a little bit more by them. Thank you. You may want to rearrange the house a little bit differently. So, let's take out the rest of the walls. That. What a clean home. It's filthy, ladies and gents. Filthy. We need to have a long way to go till this place is clean.
another outlet down there that we missed. Now we can see the shape of the house a lot better. The quick um, clean, and then they can tell us it's clean. Starting to get dark out there as well, so I mean, usual put a couple of temporary lights in there. It's for while we are figuring out what we're going to do with this space. Let's get them and a light switch. Just ceiling lamps, thank you. I do like these ones because they are nice and bright when they're switched on. And a light switch. There you go, that will assist us. Hey, I think a front and back door. I think I know the door I want for the back as well. Because, um... And he just... This one just came to me when I heard that music before and I was like, Oh yes, I want that door. I just think it's... The door makes sense to me as a back door. It just does. Okay, so what do we want for the front door? Do we want something quite... You know, open or... I don't know, something in a similar style to that. Does this one come in white? Oops. But is that too much in the way of windows? I don't think I want that many windows in my own front door. That one I don't mind because you can pull the curtains across and it's all good. That one's got slightly less windows. A lot of windows. Anything with just windows. Or should we just go with the standard so we want to get a bit fancier let's just see what that one looks like see that doesn't look too bad now my idea for knocking see the walls out here is i actually think this side will make a much better living space we can take these windows out and put more of a larger window in so rather than them being the individual main thing, so let's the, like the Mary Triple instead. I think that looks better. Let me 
means that we are going to have very skinny type fabric. Hmm. Don't know yet. I'm still thinking on this. Still thinking. Still got my thinking hat on. See just how it makes things. Sit small. So I'm just thinking, you know, having a bathroom coming straight into the house. second and maybe that one as well i'm just thinking about door placement right now wide doorway or do I want a slightly more narrow doorway? Mm. I want rid of this. I'm thinking maybe a little could be here or maybe be a bit narrow. Just think of like a little could be for like a little office back here or something like that. Just notice it's got a couple of um, outlets on the floor down there. Up about here as well. Let me get some some installations and see what we're dealing with. Now we are definitely going to be going with the shower plumbing system. I'm thinking of like the curved shower that goes in the This one. Slightly crossed. So. Like is this one, it's quite petite, it takes a nice bit of space. Plus it also it doesn't look too bad either. And this one looks fairly nice. And it, this bathroom is definitely a tight squid. Hmm. Yeah, might need to give it a tiny bit more room. 
But this is the whole point of me putting those installations in there and seeing if it works. And obviously, what well, doesn't work. <laughs> skill point demolition Ooh, do we want the do we want to be stronger to do faster demolition or get the big professional i think we're gonna go faster demolition they want to take it out by Definitely gives a little bit more. Even just moving it over that one just makes a huge difference. The other thing we can do, can put the narrow door in. We can even move the door over just one more. If we wanted to. I don't know, I think I kind of like the fact that there is a little bit of a lip there. For assembly. I mean, this is only a petite house, so you're not going to have three tons of space in. I think what I'll do is I will put that narrowed way in. Just like this. Some lentils across the top. I want a smallish thing, so one that's not gonna just look too oversized in the room. And I do think these ones look very, very nice. Especially in a smaller room. I do like the idea of the This is me going back to, you know, my normal. <laughs> so I do like the way do that. Yes, it would probably leak on us. Didn't, surprisingly. Yeah, so that looks quite simplistic. I like that. And actually, I'm wondering you know what I might do. Get rid of that one, put the suspended system in place instead. Because this is quite a small toilet. There's suspended toilet. Get it coloured. Might just leave it all white. Just keep. So it's quite a small bathroom, but I think 
that will actually work quite well for us. So we want the narrow doors. too bad. So it's a petite little bathroom as you come in. What's quite nice is we've got this little bit of wall space here. Uh, no, it's there it is, doesn't it? So I'm just wondering if it's just a tiny bit too wide I think. I just it kind of works so um hmm a big itching going on there I mean, not that one we go um furniture corridor I don't want to go with just the bog standard hooks. I mean, this will probably also clip a little bit, but just gives them somewhere to hang their coats when they come in. Mmm. I'm, d I'm just going to stand in my tiny bathroom because I'm not going to come out and do my best of the future. <laughs> uh... Oh, do we want to go with something dark to pull the colour out? I want to go. This eclipse. I don't want more brick. Brick would just feel cold, I think. Or an anthracite. This could look quite fancy. Just thinking of bringing that darkness of the sink up just to kind of tie it together and then white light coloured walls. Possibly a little bit of detail. Got any of bit that? Even the white porcelain, you can get to the dark top. Let me try that, see how that goes with the steel grey. Don't need many anyway. Only an egg. Just a little. Let's see. I take the tiles all the way up. I mean, this at the minute is very. I mean, it's almost like they're too the paint on them is too light. Something that's gonna give us a bit more oomph, but they have very, very light colour options with it. It's 
just going to be... Oh, yep, something. Oh no, that is a part way up one. And I like that because of the... Actually, I don't think I do. I'm thinking because the grout's that little bit darker, it kind of... Something, but to me that actually... I like the stippling at the top. Almost looks like they forgot to grout it. <laughs> I'm fuzzy! I know! I'm sorry! Okay, so that one is with the grey bubble tiles. I suppose this is going to be too much grey. I didn't put them on stand, did I? I mean, it's different. Definitely brings the different greys in together. Do that bit. Adds a little bit of interest to the room. all the way up bubbles you have lots of bubbles in the bathroom like it something a little bit let's say unusual just a little bit different I was thinking I want the floor to be lighter now. I know, I'm fussy. I'll get over it. <laughs> Do more of a white, maybe the coat of stone tile. I know, I'm awesome. That would be the wrong surface. Do the floor. Too much detail in them, but it's not quite right. Bug in here as well. Special lure. All round. Come in. So you don't spray very. Don't be silly. Do 
Beautiful. I always fit my carpets under my shower. And we've got a lot of round stuff, a lot of bubbles. Thinking to carry on this kind of bubble theme we've got going on. And that has a light on it as well, which is well. See. Uh, even, even, yeah, this room, its own light switch. How crazy is that? Actually, accessories, but. We do need some loo roll. Get a loo roll holder. Come on now. That's the one with the gold on it. I don't like is the fact that these silver ones don't actually have a loo roll on them. I suppose the people haven't moved in yet, so that makes sense, but... Don't like it. <laughs> They're on the mega roll. Luckily, the apocalypse one put blue rails in its back. So I'm going to stick a couple of them up there. Switch that on. Put a blind on my window. This is the bathroom. No, why no one peeking in while we're having a shower? It's a tiny bit cozier in there. A little bit more practical. I've got to figure out where I'm going to put our bedroom. I think it's more the placement of this door that makes it a little bit more tricky. I don't think they've given us the option to um, move doors just yet. So I'm thinking this can be like a little kind of office cubby. I'm going to that one. I want to move it over one so it provides light in there rather than we could make this a multi-use space I suppose I want my main living space to be as you come in. 
But I don't want to obviously bring a wall down here. Yeah, I suppose it'd make almost a little corridor. Mm, no. I don't want a corridor going from the front to the back of the house. It's a little bit weird. Try something. You work to come in here. Bathroom to that side that you guys can use as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Like the idea of there being like a little office cubby back there. But obviously we do need somewhere for the bedroom. And that could be world's smallest. I love it. When you have your bedroom smaller than your bathroom. I think that will be like a little office cubby. I'm not going to make that into a bedroom. That'd be so cruel. I like the idea of them walking in here and having this as the main living space. And that rather than it being all awkwardly off to the side there. And that which means that this back corner would be some sort of bedroom. Obviously this wall isn't going to come out. See, this is what happens when I start removing walls. Let's have a look at second. See if I was to put a room there. If it's to end at that point, that still gives a lot of space in here, but that's going to be the world's smallest screen. Let me keep this fairly open. Even before the cubby at the back. I don't like the placement of the there. Maybe that's not an office. Maybe this is a small kitchen area. Like a little kitchen air. Like, I just knocked down the wall I've just been building. No, I'm going crazy. Don't worry about me. Be fine. I don't do this in real life. <laughs> oh, bless me. Bless me indeed, guys. Sorry about that.
Hm. I mean, this is more than enough room there. Just... Which is, you know, more for maximizing space. I definitely don't like the fact that this is currently opening up directly onto a wall. This can be like a cute little bedroom. Obviously, it's only going to be a single room. I'm going to get a double bed in there. It's kind of a living space. It's like a small, maybe a small kitchen area with like a little office desk type thing here. Okay. Hmm. I'm going like that wind. Definitely do need a window on that back. No, of course you're not going to get it right. Get a double. It's better than having one on that wall. I just get rid of the windows on the side of the house altogether. You got them on the front and the back? Why do you need windows on the side? Yeah, fine. We haven't got them on the side on this one, we've just got them on the front of the back, so... Let's get... Uh... Really feeling the windows into the um, the dream door, you know. In it, hey. That right? No, I don't. No, I just think it's the way the frame goes. Definitely need something to kind of break this up. I don't like the fact that you come in through one door, the other door's like, meow. So we may still have. Hmm. Probably not. Why am I being so fussy? <laughs> Why? 
Why? Why am I doing this to myself? Let's just go in the bedroom. Sort this out. Uh, I'm a carpet in the I We've had a storm here the last couple of days, so I am feeling very much like, ooh, nice, nice carpet. I'm really keen on it. So I say we go with the floor tiles, and then we have. Nice rug. So it's warm looking. We are going to take it all the way through. Um, we will change up the kitchen floor for some tile, but until I know what tile, let's bring the wood all the way. Yep, don't like that wall there. Just kind of closes it in. No, I'm fussy. I should just get over myself, but. What I'm going to do is figure out what style of bed I want before I actually decide on the colours for you. The single beds are a little bit differently. So you've got like kind of wall beds, your Murphy bed kind of dealio. You've got ones that look like kid beds. You've got ones with storage underneath. They don't do any like proper cozy ones, like the double beds, like that's really not gonna go in it unless I put it up against a wall or something. And that takes up like the entire room. So we definitely need a single bed, but I want it to look, to look cozy, you know? But there are two places to look for um, beds in this one. So you've got the normal furniture and then the kids furniture as well. There is like that day bed, isn't there? My coffee's gone. It's like this, this day bed style as well. Hmm. I might not leave the bed there. I'm just kind of playing around with things. I would just want the bed to look. The bed's in the way. Okay, some bit of that. Talking about blinds up at the window too, because no, just 
Just because. <laughs> That's going to give us a little bit of colour. We use the light colour of Roman fly. I've got a feeling we're going very grey with this house. Don't know what's giving that away at all. Like we've got some pink in already. I oh, know that's going to be too much for that, but the um, but something that's very, very subtle. Bedding, doesn't it? Thinking, you know, let's just add a bit of fanciness to the room. That looks horrible. Go with it. I don't like, like, the one where they've done the panelling, I think they've put it too low. For the most part, but you can cover a lot of it up with the furnishings that you've so it's not too bad. I think with the tiles for the wall tiles, they've got it spot on. But yeah, for these ones, it just looks far too low. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, this ball is the only one um, that Chester draws or something. That's very simple too. Is that? Oh, no, it's so tiny and cute. Too small. I don't think anyone's clothes are fitting in that. It's just the one oh, then. If they're actually that small, you could.
like they want a mirror. Printing back Change out some white. I just press the button. Okay, good. Have somewhere to collect your laundry. Yeah, it's a small room. Let's go there. <laughs> you just see it like, yeah, let's just decorate with a bit of that. That looks cool. Box with a flat. Yeah, totally need that. Go on there. Okay, you got some more storage now. This did stuff um, from the Steam Workshop that we're looking at just to get a few bits and pieces just to kind of put in here. I decorate the place a little bit, make it a little tiny bit bigger. I think one thing to bear in mind though, you don't get um a lot of the time you don't get like it'll take the money off your account balance, but it doesn't necessarily add to the sale price um of the place you're selling, so I need these boots. And that's so to just bear that in mind and that if it is somewhere you're looking to sell, don't go overboard with the stuff. And that was some pretty cool stuff and people are continuously uploading stuff to it as well. So it's always a uh, good to have a little wee nosy at. Definitely furnish a place, some extra bits and pieces. Little suitcase down there. Sounds a lot of so. interviews on velocity of boulders, deep thoughts, and stuff. Nice, like it. Mm. 
with some lippy to go with their eyeshadow. Wouldn't leave it open like that though, that's the problem. And I did like the look of those face and body creams as well, so let's get well let's let's stick you on here. These pots are a lot bigger than I thought they were gonna be. I love the fact that they've even gone to the detail of actually writing. It's just. It's like they're falling off there, but it's not go okay, that way. Smell the bits. Oh, let's give you some CDs. You need some CDs. Listen to some music. And you need like a little CD player. Maybe we can find a CD player. like him. Looks like he's waving. Oh, there is so much stuff in her. I love a little mouse pad. I think other people got to the point where they wanted um, the roll holders that actually move on. Let's go and hang. Let's go a picture to go over the bed. Yeah, I've spent far too long messing about in this room. But do you know what? I'm kind of liking it, you know? So it's quite nice, but that's... I want something that's going to be more landscape. Alchemy of knowledge? Oh, you're huge. Go a bit smaller with you. really feeling it. We also need to swap out the light. Look at that. Do you like it? So let's shift this light over here. We do need to get a light switch for in here too. Ceiling lamp. That's something quite pretty. Pretty light. No, when my daughter was younger, she had like that. We used to have one like this in a in this office as well. You just want something a little bit different, you know? It's a bit fancy looking. 
wasn't like a full blown chandelier. It was like chandelier effect, but definitely not the price of a chandelier. It's a little room. We've made it look a little bit more lived in. There's still stuff, space on the shelves for other stuff as well. Switch lights back on. Yeah. It's obviously with those shifting things around in different rooms and such, just messes with the lighting, tiny touch. Okay, so now we've got two rooms done on there. So we've got this one here, nice little bedroom, crazy. Got our bathroom through here. Too bad. Got a random light switch down there. So we want to make this into kind of like a living area. It's going to be quite crazy. This is going to be our entrance area. Need to sort out that flooring. It was the yeah. A brown floor panel okay. so we need to kind of think of a color scheme and i think we're going to go quite light i mean i'm actually quite surprised like given the fact that i'm not I, I, this is a little bit too light i think it needs to come up so that it's at least at the level of our windowsills but you know other than that i think that this room's not turned out too bad and I think it's it's quite a cute little room. We get a little rug on the floor there, don't we? See, I'm back in here again, messing about. What are you doing? There you go. A bit cosier in there. Help myself, guys. I can't help myself. But that I'm actually gonna put there. So it doesn't like when that door opens, it doesn't hang you with it. Question is, but do you know what I might do? Yeah, I'm standing here in sides. I don't think we have a frame for. Yeah, I might. So... That is just a tiny little bit too long. Wait, do we have something? Up. 
so that one's just got the oven. See that would be for been on the end there as well. Two meter marv. Like it. It's because it's got that glass and a panel in there. We want um it's gonna line up with that for a little bit. It's gonna have a Seems really light, doesn't it? Have the half height ones. See? That's a three meter one. That's not gonna work. Oh no, two point four meter that one is. Can we get the ghost stamp in the spoon?
The most expensive coffee machine on the market. Wow. Um, because you know, girls to have back. Actually, I kind of like that one better. Put this somewhere a sec. It looks cute, but like, uh. Sorry. No, coffee's important, but. Beautiful, beautiful. It's <laughs> the rest of my knife pop on. What else? What else? What else? The teapot. We have already got off me. Definitely. Oh. Uh, got a lot of pink stuff in that bedroom. So. Or pink it is. Need a what? Not the best place to put one that's sticking over here. I don't want to go too overboard with that stuff, so let's go wheel walls, we want wall tiles. Need some sort of sludge.
The one one that we're gonna get half full. I just sit here going. If we go with the beige grey, just so we can get a little bit of warmth on the walls, maybe. No, beige grey is a bit grey. But just add a tiny touch of. Without making the kitchen too dark as well. And it gives us those that splash back as well for the kitchen. music it's quite happy happy music this wall. The reason why I'm checking is because I think I might put some of the, you know, the living wall sections on this particular wall, but I just wanted to finish it off at the same time. It just to give it a little bit of like, to the kitchen. In case I kind of like them, even though it's going to be really weird, but you know, plants are good. Plants take that carbon dioxide and turn it back into oxygen. Wow, lichen wall panels.
सोलर लिप्स ची नाव I actually might leave this here and just put some kind of runner, maybe. One a welcome, welcome. Uh, you're back. Welcome. Get the little puppy one, or the little paw print one, in honor of the fact that we'll see will be soon. Let's pop that there. She thinking, do we have like these smallest, like just like a tiny little cute thing, tiny thing. That's wooden little table. Well, that might be going a bit too. Furniture. Remember how big the limb takes. That one's quite small. and green. It's like quite a big chair for such a tiny little table. Let's see. Thinking because we need like Somewhere cute like to sit, maybe just get some food, some things. Hi. I mean, are you all completely sat in front of the bathroom door? Yes. However, at the same time, we've got to remember, this house is tiny, so... That doesn't wipe. Oh my god, that's tiny. You need to get like your glasses out just to. Oh, 
picture of the fall. Be beautiful, but a bit big. much do you like see that might go nicely let's make the over a touch so that it line up a little bit better lovely get a cute little Or, or, hello, the guineas are cute. Let's see how big they are. And a bit too big for the dining room table. And Dendrum Simsy. Romantic roses. Still not eating. I just want like a little, little tiny past. We do need that, and we also need a blind for her actually while we're at it. on a mission to find a small enough buzz. I know this one's really small. Look at you. That looks a little bit better. Move it out of the way when you're not eating. There you go. We're done. It's okay like that. That's cute. It's a shame you can't change the colour of the curtains on this Christmas door. But you know what? It's not too bad. I... Right, so. What we need to do. So I am thinking with the walls, if we carry on with that beige grey. Or... Beige, beige grey. Eh. And that at least for like the rest of this wall coming in. In fact, I think I might do it all and then put, say, kind of an accent wall in the living room, maybe. Just to kind of tie that in with the rest of the room. May change the mount for a light rather than the white. Oh. 
paint the, let's just paint that one the full beige grey. My stomach rumbling, oh my goodness. Hopefully we shouldn't be too far off finishing this one. We only go for two hours. Wow. I feel like it's two hours well spent though because I'm kind of liking this house right now. another to paint just to finish this yep should rebuild the paper like i have run out of paint Paint this with this for the moment. So it's then it's all painted. have that a light in it. Fine. Maybe you just spelled something you're like, mm, that doesn't look quite right for me right now. I'll just um adjust things slightly. See that's like it's gonna be changed out. Now the question is can I think it'd look better TV on that wall? No, it's only a small room, so I'm not gonna fill it with like giant couches and all that kind of thing, because then that'd just be too much. I also think an 85 inch TV may be going a bit far. Question is, we want. Yeah. yeah. We have like a. a little boom box or. CD player, something like that. Next, like, so we've got the CDs in the bedroom. We need some to play them on. Done a CD player, that's crazy.
kind of like a little fireplace or something. That's not what I was doing. Wrong button. Narrow one's a bit too narrow. What? Literally the same way. That's easy. You know what though? It just adds like a really cozy feel. I really do like this armchair. There's only one person living here, so we just want they just nice and cozy for them. What was the chair? That is like the hugest ottoman ever. Houses. Put an entire family on that thing. I want something cute like that that I can put in there, but it's pretty. Any squares, rectangles. Something that's a little, you know, that just offers that little bit of kind of interest. Too bad. Bye. I need to cut statue. So, I say he. I don't even know who's going to live in this house, but they're having a cat statue, so. 
I also feel like they won't want to ruin this. Yeah, cozy and do knitting. Oh, that's just giving me like knitting vibes, but. I can get balls of yarn. Ready for when they're going to knit their scarf. I don't know why I my cup sock is on, but you know. Yeah. It needles it does yes. Definitely not gonna melt in front of that fire, but do you know what the fire is making me feel cozy? Just staying on. on my own chair right now. I feel like they want some like magazine. Stack of magazines out again, you know? These are all the ones that came um, with the Halloween stuff. It's like, oh, they look so cool, but then. What colour options needed, guys? I go with Old Faith. with the small instead. Just to add a bit of coziness to it, right? Okay? Do one those kinds of my It's not what I did.
could be something I It'd be really nice if like, you could stay one on the left hand side, one on the right hand side, but this ain't gonna do what we want it. Like, nothing is the right way. Like, even the wide ones are too narrow. Even if we were going to go for these, I think it's going to be too as well. Is a problem. Get some drama in the room. Do you love this chandelier that they brought in? You saw like so much light. It's a bit big for this room, but oh, I love it. I'm gonna keep it. I like it. Something back, yeah. I do so they're a bit Somewhere to do a little bit of art. Why not? Oh, 
the lower canvases? Do we have a smaller? It's a shame these don't come in different sizes. I just want like a just like a tall skinny type. Oh, it's still. the only old that's got oh i like the little old oil lamp that's cute and it looks like a random odd sticky touch really gentle garment the decoration just there switch on of course you don't why would you too easy right i think i'm quite liking this just a little hobby area there a few more painting there really a nice little kitchen area, somewhere to eat, a cute little bathroom. They went out to a she or a he before. Cute little bedroom. I know, cosy place to sit by the fire, watch some TV or read some magazine. Liking it, liking it. And it's it's a cute little space as well. I kind of live here. I was not sure how this was going to go right at the start, but... I would live here. I think we spent so much time on this house that we will probably leave the garden. I mean, it's had a good clean up. It's had a good mow. The outside of the house has been done. Inside, I'm quite liking this space. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to sell it. But as we do anyway, we're still going to pop it in there because we might get some, you know, a little bit of a bonus. It's not increased by anything, but, you know, we've got... All marks for layout. <laughs> it's a new personal record. Equipment lair. 
I left equipment. No, I'm going to put it on auction anyway. And that was see who we got. See who we got. I reckon it's going to go to Trusk. That's my betting. Oh no, it's not going to go to Dolan. The Jantar family, have they both got to fit in that bed? And we are making a £10,000 profit there, so I'll take that. I'm quite liking it. It was just a simple one, just so we could earn a few extra bits and pieces, and that we have managed to do. We can try and negotiate a little bit. Maybe we can get an extra two and a half thousand ish. Do you know what? It doesn't want to go that far. Does it, it never wants to go like bang on the money? There you go. For an extra two and a half grand, I am going to take that. I'm going to accept their offer. And then we've got our before and afters as well. Definitely, definitely like this one. I hope you guys do as well. And then make sure to give us some tips on what you would like to see um, in the future. And obviously we will get around to do some more stuff with the garden side of things as well as but. Yeah, I've kind of enjoyed this and uh, I hope you guys have too and uh, and I will definitely definitely be seeing you soon you got a slightly longer episode today to make up for the fact that I have not been here <laughs> uploading for over a week now so yeah I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you have an awesome week and I will see you soon